The Mummy's Hand, released in 1940, is a film that takes you on an adventure filled with ancient curses and timeless mysteries. Starring Tom Tyler as the mummy and Dick Foran as the brave hero, this movie brings together a cast that delivers performances which are still talked about today. My personal favorite was Dick Foran, whose charm and courage on screen never fail to impress. This movie stands out for its simple yet effective storytelling, making it a classic that continues to be enjoyed by audiences of all ages. As we dive into the world of the mummy's hand, get ready for a mix of emotions with moments that will make you laugh, jump, and maybe even shed a tear. And as we share these experiences, I'm curious to know, what memories do you hold close from this movie? Have you ever dressed up as one of the characters? Or maybe it was a film that your family bonded over? Your stories are what keep the spirit of this movie alive, so please share your experiences in the comments below. We're eager to hear what this film means to you. The 1940 movie, The Mummy's Hand, is a classic horror film that has influenced many movies in the genre. It introduced a new kind of mummy character, one that was more active and frightening. This movie showed that ancient curses could be a source of horror, a theme many films have used since. The Mummy's Hand is still popular because it has a timeless story that scares and excites viewers even today. It also started a series of movies about mummies, showing its strong effect on the film industry. People still watch and talk about this movie, proving that good stories and characters never get old. In a twist of fate, Dick Foran, initially set to portray Larry Talbot, was replaced by Lon Chaney Jr. just before the cameras rolled on the Wolfman. This film, known for its resurrection of a timeless horror, reused footage from its 1932 predecessor, including the chilling sequence of Karis's entombment. George Zuko, who later suffered a debilitating stroke on the set of The Desert Fox, was among the cast that brought this eerie tale to life. In the creation of a classic horror film, the transformation of an actor into a terrifying mummy required meticulous effort. Makeup artist Jack P. Pierce would apply strips of cotton to Tom Tyler's face for close-up shots, crafting the appearance of aged, deep wrinkles. However, for scenes shot from a distance, a rubber mask was used for efficiency and comfort. Tyler, known for his roles alongside John Wayne, portrayed contrasting characters in their collaborations from adversaries to allies. His versatility extended to playing both hero and villain in different westerns. Meanwhile, Boris Karloff, famous for his role as Frankenstein's monster, unexpectedly charmed a young co-star, Marilyn Harris, despite his fearsome on-screen persona. Her unhesitant approach to Karloff in full monster makeup highlights the gentle nature behind his iconic character. These behind-the-scenes stories shed light on the human connections and artistry that bring such memorable films to life. In the spring of 1940, a film was released that would later make its television premiere on January 2, 1958 on New York's Channel 7 WABC. This event was noted in the TV Guide New York Metropolitan Edition at the end of December 1957. During this period, Boris Karloff, a significant figure associated with the film, had an apartment in the renowned Dakota Apartment House in New York City. The Dakota, known for its architecture and famous residence, provided a New York home for Karloff, who was often associated with the horror genre of that era. Before his role as Steve Banning, Dick Foran was known for his parts in Universal Films and as a singing cowboy. Zita Johan, who began acting in high school plays, made her mark on Broadway with the Theater Guild. Wallace Ford found both a career highlight and his future wife, Martha Haworth, on the New York stage, where their shared work led to marriage. Each actor brought a unique background to the film, contributing to its enduring appeal. In a unique approach to visual effects during the early days of horror cinema, the production team employed a meticulous process to enhance the mummy's menacing presence. By altering frames one by one, they succeeded in obscuring the eyes and mouth of the character portrayed by Tom Tyler, creating a more sinister appearance. This technique contributed significantly to the film's eerie atmosphere. Additionally, the film's influence extended beyond the silver screen, inspiring a comic book adaptation featured in a 1965 issue of Monster World. In a separate but related note, Boris Karloff, known for his roles in horror, displayed his lighter side on a popular quiz show in 1956, opting for a category far removed from the macabre themes of his films. His successful run on the show ended strategically due to financial considerations. 
In the early days of cinematic adventures, Dick Foran portrayed an archaeologist whose passion for ancient civilizations and their relics laid the groundwork for what would become one of cinema's most beloved treasure hunters, Indiana Jones. Meanwhile, Boris Karloff, known for his chilling performances, had a history shrouded in mystery. Contrary to his claims, his lineage bore no trace of the Slavic or Russian ancestry he often spoke of. His choice of stage name was inspired not by family heritage, but by a fictional character from Harold Macrath's novel. This name, which would become synonymous with horror, was a fitting prelude to his future roles that often sent shivers down the spine. Adding to the web of connections, Karloff shared a distant familial link with Quentin Crisp, another actor with a notable name change, highlighting a small world phenomenon within the acting community. In the late 1950s, a classic horror film found its way to television screens as part of the shock theater package, bringing chills to a new generation of viewers. Peggy Morin, known for her roles in early 1940s horror films, gained a following decades after her retirement, celebrated for her performances that left a lasting impression on fans. Her presence at conventions and film events, such as the premiere of a 2001 blockbuster, highlighted her enduring popularity. The film's production value was evident in its set design, with a grand tomb set that had been repurposed from an earlier adventure film, showcasing the studio's resourcefulness and commitment to creating atmospheric settings. This set would continue to feature in subsequent productions, a testament to its striking impact. In the early days of horror cinema, Boris Karloff and Christopher Lee shared a unique connection through their portrayals of iconic characters. Karloff brought to life the Frankenstein monster and the mummy roles later inhabited by Lee, who also stepped into the shoes of Dr. Fu Manchu and Grigory Rasputin, parts once played by Karloff. Their legacies intertwined. These actors left a lasting mark on the genre. Wallace Ford's career included roles in films now preserved for their cultural and historical importance. His performances in movies like Freaks and The Informer remain significant to this day. Karloff's influence extended beyond the screen. His image as the Frankenstein monster was immortalized on a United States postage stamp, celebrating the artistry behind classic American filmmaking. Boris Karloff, a name synonymous with classic horror, left an indelible mark on the genre. His influence extended far beyond his own era, inspiring characters such as the villain in the 2012 film Men in Black 3, a homage by makeup artist Rick Baker. Despite later tales of hardship, Karloff's early life was one of comfort. His marriage certificate lists him as a broker, and he resided at Hornby Mansions, suggesting a well-off lifestyle. His talent was recognized beyond the screen, earning him a Tony Award nomination for his performance in The Lark in 1956, showcasing his range as an actor. 